Live from the path of totality, this is the Great American Eclipse on KSLA News 12. And we are giving you another glimpse of the eclipse. If you missed it as the magic all happened earlier, the skies wow. were absolutely beautiful. Now the solar show will end at 307. That is when the second half of the partial eclipse ends. Chris? Bisky, it is, uh, or it was, it is still a beautiful sight. As you can see uh, on our camera right now, video of the eclipse, you saw it about an hour ago right here on KS Lay News 12. History happening right before our very eyes. You saw a uh, complete totality, just something. It was, it was completely complete darkness. It looked like it was like uh, two o'clock in the morning, at a, at, at a, what two o'clock or one o'clock in the afternoon. Right, and that's why we're showing you this cool time lapse video mm -hmm. of the total solar eclipse. You can kind of see from start to until where we are now, really yeah. how it all occurred. And it's just, it was something that we can tell you about, that we can talk about, that we can talk to the experts about. But until you see it with your own eyes, you won't understand how impressive it was, Chris. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's something that will ever, ever, forever stick in our minds forever. Something we've never seen before. Uh, Donna Huki is with us as well, and this is something we've never seen before. Uh, Donna, I'm sure you've seen it before probably, maybe, maybe, maybe not, but either way, something we've never seen before, and it's really brought everyone together. Uh, something that's something you're never gonna forget. Absolutely, and you know, KSLA News 12's Donna Kia has been on the scene with us. You haven't seen her as much because she's been ripping and running. She's been talking to all the experts. You've been going back and forth, getting to have the experience. So Donna, what's been the message today that everybody shared with you? If we're being honest, I think the most overwhelming feeling and sentiment throughout the day is everyone was just super excited and happy to be here. I know earlier in the day, there was some concern about, are people gonna see it? but once we went into totality and even when we were getting close all that concern went out the window everyone really seemed super impressed i was in that park right down the street over there people started clapping you know how people do when like the plane lands sometimes it was like that but so much stronger everyone's cheering clapping i was able to interview the same people twice once before the eclipse and then once after and you can really tell the difference I was able to meet some students from a high school in Arizona who are here locally and you know they're helping document the eclipse and they're a part of an initiative with that and they were really excited. I was able to talk to an astronomer who was really excited. Overall, it has been really great it seems for everyone I've interviewed and everyone involved. Everyone who I've spoken to who's traveled has said that it's been so worth however long the drive has been. We really have to call you Miss KSLA Eclipse. Yeah. We just interviewed Miss Eclipse, but Miss KSLA Eclipse over here yeah. has been talking to the experts, <laughs> talking to the astronomers, and she's kind of been filling me in behind the scenes. You know, like this is what you can expect when the moon moves at this point. This is what's happening with the sun as everything just kind of comes across. It's been really interesting. Donna has been our educational source, Chris. Donna, as of course we've been relying on you for our reports uh, all, since yesterday, but Donna, what's the most interesting thing you've seen since you've been out here personally for, from your eyes, from your, from your point of view? Honestly, when it actually happened and it actually felt like darkness in the day, it was uh, nothing could have really prepared me or anyone I feel like who hadn't seen it before. For that, I've spoken to NASA in this process. I've spoken to different scientists getting ready for the eclipse. I've talked to a lot of different experts who have told me it'll get cooler, that nature, the animals will make noises. I've heard all of that, but actually experiencing it for yourself really was a phenomenal opportunity. Were there animals that make noises over here? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I think we were too busy being locked in uh. the overall <laughs> experience that I think we kind of missed out on it. Uh. Any crickets chirping, but you know, we've been talking about a big emotions. You know, there were some couples that were over here just loving and enjoying the moments. There were families that have been all pulled together. The kids instantly quiet down and they look and you missed it, Donna, but we tracked down the family from Denmark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, so cool. yes. they came and joined us earlier. And I know that you've been going back and forth, you know, not just here in Idabel. You also went to the Museum of the Red River. You talked to the experts over there as well. Yes, I spoke to an astronomer over there who had seen so many different eclipses, total solar eclipses. He's also seen some annular eclipses, but this was his ninth eclipse. He's wow. gone, traveled all over the country. I'm pretty sure he's traveled outside of the country to see these eclipses. And it really is something that was worth it for him to come and speak. His name was Mr. Sheldon Schaefer. We'll have more from him later, but he was able to tell me a little bit about 
the science about eclipses, and I know he was able to come here from Peoria, Illinois, I believe, just to give a talk yesterday at the museum. So it was a great opportunity there too. Well, fantastic. Well, everyone, we do want to give Donna her props over here yes. because KSLA News 12's Donna Kia has been working very hard to give us all of the great eclipse coverage, and you're Good going to job. hear more from her tonight and throughout the rest of the day.